you on are. the other computer, so I had to figure out on a different computer. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured was going on. I, I will figure this out. So it was black for a while. I'm like, there's got to be <laughs> something here about video and me. And, <laughs> and put my gorgeous face here. All right, so Hal is here, and we are recording, guys. So for whatever reason, if you have to jump off early, you um, – I apologize for this light. I've still not figured out dynamics in here, so just bear with me. Um, we are going to go ahead and get started, though. Before we jump in with our guest speaker, who I'm super excited to have here with us tonight, I did want to talk about just a couple of announcements. Next week on Thursday night at 9 p.m., Dream Alliance will actually be hosting a Q&A for Summit. For those of you guys that are first-time Summit attendees or if you just have you been a ton of times but you want to get some extra tips and pointers, next week is your week to jump on there and I'll have a couple of veterans there to answer questions alongside me. So we're really excited about that. Um, also, we have Shift Shop, which is what we're going to be talking about tonight. But I did want to mention that on the third, we are going to be doing another preview on VOD. And then also, it will launch on July the 12th. So that is actually less than two weeks from now. So just keep that in mind. And just, you know, this program, and, and Hal's about to share that with us, It's I have seen probably better results come out of this test group than I have seen out of any test group Um previously it's been just off the charts crazy so Hal is with us tonight Hal Wise and he has been a longtime friend of mine um he's been a friend and supporter of our of our team and just an ally with us and it's such an honor to have him he has in with just shift shop with just the test group, he has lost 14 pounds and 14 inches, which is crazy. And then in total, how you might have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I think in total you're up at 80 pounds. So if I've been watching your journey, I, I did it this morning and I'm up like a pound, but I'm down 87 pounds. That's and crazy. About That's crazy. Four years of beach body. So yeah. I'm not the I'm not the fastest speed record person, but. I've, I've done pretty well over. That's, that's flipping amazing. So enough from me. I'm going to turn the, uh, the mic over to Hal. And at the end of the, of the um, Hal sharing with us, we're going to open the floor for some Q&A. So I know you guys have some questions about the launch of this, this program, and Hal is going to help us through that as well. So Hal, it's all yours. Perfect. Thank you, Christina. Hi, guys. In case I'm kind of the, the – I am the, the person behind Lindsay. So Lindsay's my wife. Obviously, she's on your team. Um, we're all Dream Alliance. Uh, she is, so as a team, we are 11-star diamond, four-time elite. So, you know, a little bit about us. That, that's kind of our, our team history. As far as me goes, um, my history, I've uh, been a Beachbody coach now for six years. Um, we actually remember the trips when we did, like, the Atlantis the first time so we've been around for quite a time quite a while we've done all these we've done a lot of trips with the Beachbody crew uh, a lot of fun stuff uh, <clears throat> I have you know so so a little bit about us Lindsay and I have been married seven years now uh, a little bit more maybe a little longer now seven years seven plus years ish here uh, when we got married um, Lindsay's job closed down so Beachbody became kind of our, our second stream of income for our family so we worked really hard with that. And then obviously parlayed that into a pretty successful beach body stuff. I still work full time. So part of the fun of me doing ship shop was I work 50 plus hours a week, 60 hours a week with travel and I travel a lot. So I travel two to three days every other week. So a little bit about me, that's what helped put my weight on. So I, at my highest, I weighed 310 about four years ago when we had the kids. You all know Lindsay's story. I'll let her, you know, she can share her story later, but, uh, and our story with that whole thing later, but uh, weighed about 310 pounds with the kids. I am now down to 223 pounds. And to kind of go through what that kind of means for my, my body, I played football and wrestled in high school between 210 and 220 for the most part. So I haven't been this small since high school. So the reason I'm probably in the test group, Honesty, 
I'm one of the bigger guys, lost weight. And I'm part of, I've been part of the Phoenix Market Council for a few years since we moved here. I was part of the Chicago Market Council, so I've been really heavily involved in the beach body community. I know that's something they, they really look favorably on and they try to, you know, since we give up and do for our time, they really try to make us feel good and that's why we're in test groups and stuff like that. So if you notice people that are in them all the time, it's because they're really involved in the community, I think, um, with beach body coaches and helping and doing. So um, a little bit about that. Uh, I, obviously, coming from, I weighed in two, high 230s when I started the test group. Uh, traveled a lot and just bought into the whole program. Met Chris in Punta Cana. Actually flew on the airplane with him down there. We met him. Just an amazing guy. Like, I think you guys are going to absolutely love the positive personal development that Chris is going to breathe into you guys. If you haven't already, he's got a Facebook fan site. You got to follow him on it. He's starting to post. Lindsay, Lindsay asked me to talk to him about posting like daily inspirations because he does it for us in the test group every day. We get a morning video for two minutes and an evening video for, for like two minutes from him. And every Sunday he would go live for like 30 minutes just to talk to us, tell us what this next week's coming up as, you know, prep us for the day, close it down nicely for us every night. So we were heavily involved with Chris throughout this whole program. And there is no one on our trainer roster that is quite like him with just the, the passion for personal development and positivity. You know, Sean's great. Tony's great. Autumn's awesome. I love them all. None of them are bad. He is just different. And this is his niche. And I think our network needs that right now. He is so inspirational in telling you, you can do this and you're going to have success with it. And just breathing that like positive life into everybody. It's great. So we've been, so after, you know, the first round of doing this every day, I was down 13 pounds. I'm, I'm the, I don't know why I round so well. I was 13 pounds and 13 inches after the first round, which I'm sure is why my second round was only one pound and one inch overall, but I ended up 14 and 14. So, uh, you know, I really want to help you guys. I think it kind of does fun to do a little bit of a question and answer to kind of see where you guys head that and what you're looking for to kind of know. Um, workouts, I will tell you, the reason it's, a sh it's called shift shop is because everything's going to shift. You are going to shift your workouts. So every week, a little different, adding 10 minutes, adding intensities, lowering intensities, changing it up just three weeks three different workouts really kind of cool um you're gonna change your food plan every week so you're gonna have a little bit of a different food plan for three straight weeks so you can't get tired of the same things uh, but also really you're shifting that the biggest benefit is i think the mental shift you have and that positive influence of i can do these things that you're gonna have just that mental shift of like i i did it i survived it from my perspective, the workouts, I didn't work out since high school. So I was really worried about committing to six days a week of workouts. The workouts are Monday through Saturdays, Sundays were off, but you worked out six days a week. And I'm like, I haven't worked out two days a week since high school, <laughs> since high school. So I was like, this is going to be incredibly tough. Did it every day. Chris was awesome. But the other shift we had was, it brought Lindsay and I closer. Like we were able to work out together, which is something we have never done before. Like I dreaded working out with anybody and let alone Lindsay. Like that girl works out all the time. And I'm like, I can't keep up with her and I can't do this. Like I'm, I'm going to be the king of modifying. And I was, but I did all my workouts and it was awesome. For you guys that are thinking, maybe I can't do this. Let me just tell you, if you, know anybody in the test group outside of me obviously um we've been, we've made some lot of friends in the test group one of the guys has um is has ms really bad and did the workouts with us there's a few of the girls that are much larger than we are all did the workouts every day without you know without, without hesitation so when you're like i don't know if i can do this believe me it's probably been the easiest workout program for me to get started in and continue in that we've ever done so i loved it 
the workouts to start out with are very anybody that had an athlete background or an athletic background calisthenics football type programs you know volleyball high school stuff that you were in you know different kinds of conditioning and you know calisthenics type stuff very similar to it so very um I, I felt very intuitive workouts that you weren't doing things that were why would I ever do this and I thought also a little bit of an intimidation factor we didn't have you didn't have the name to go crazy on it wasn't insanity that you're like we are insane for doing this it wasn't called an asylum you know the first workouts you don't see Tony Horton a 60 year old guy hopping up and starting doing pull-ups and you're like dude I'm a I'm half your age and I ain't never been able to do a pull-up you know, like just much if you weren't scared to do the workouts you're able to do them so i think that's like a lot of the fun of this is like just easy you know chris is a physically imposing guy don't get me wrong i mean when the guy jumps you're like what kind of ligaments did you have replaced to do that because humans don't do that kind of stuff but i think you guys all love it it's a great workout like i said the meal plan has a lot of people up in arms or interested or curious or whatnot Real easy, I can tell you what I ate, and I can tell you how I ate and all that kind of stuff. What I will tell you is, to me, it's a cycle. You're not, don't look at it as, I am going cold turkey, this is what I'm doing. That's not this program. If we start going with the K word, that's not what this is. There's, there is aspects of it that are meant for the general public, right, for all of us to do, that have some of those things in it. You might find some recipes that are in those things to help you do this. But the meal plan is, is really probably one of the better ones we've, we've seen in some of the test groups from Lindsay and I's experience. We've done three of these, three of these with Beachbody. Um, what we saw was it's very similar um, to 21 Day Fix in that there's containers and counts. He's going to, you know, more than likely there's going to be a meal plan with it obviously, right? That's going to tell you what to go, what goes into those things so you can make different recipes. The nice thing with his, I've never noticed it before. I don't, I hope he does it with this was he basically gave us like, if you were supposed to be eating an apple and let's say like I had sunflower butter three days a week, the first week, he told us how many apples we needed to buy on the meal plan. So like when you're going grocery shopping and you know you need three apples, you can put three apples in the bag, which was really kind of cool for me to go, hey, we know exactly what Hal needs to eat this week. We just bought that as opposed to, gee, let's go figure it out on our own. So kind of a cool thing there with it. The food was awesome. You're able to mix and match. You're able to do what you need to do. I was never hungry. Guys, I'm Italian from Chicago. Pizza, pasta are my lifeblood. Okay, like I'm pretty sure if you take my blood, it goes straight to like you know Sicilian sauce and gravies and you know all that stuff. Like I don't ha like it's just it. I did not have an issue with cutting down for the weeks and doing the things. We actually found a few different really cool recipes and things to do. Um, we learned how to cook the zucchini noodles or the squash noodles, and we found some. I know my grandfather, Mobsy, if you're, when you're up there, please don't disown me. We found some jarred spaghetti sauces that were pretty awesome. I know it was, uh, I, I, <laughs> yeah, you know, we look at my wife laughs at me. I'm the cheater cook for the most part. So I will find ways to make good food really quickly because I'm a guy and I'm going to eat good food. So I found a way to find, like, we found a good jar that had minimal additional carbs, if you will, because obviously pasta sauce, tomatoes are a vegetable, are a fruit. Fruits have carbs in them. This is why we're not the K word, guys. We, there are carbs in your meals, okay? We're not cutting everything out, but we're trying to minimize, like, week three, you are not going to be having noodles, okay? You're going to have other things. Shakeology, if you read the label, has carbs. You still drink Shakeology. So don't, like, don't sit there and get this thing twisted. Like, oh, my God, I'm going to this new lifestyle. It's just a way of cycling, okay? 
And I think that's why everybody had a really good experience and enjoyed it. Um, Cause it wasn't like, you didn't go cold turkey for three weeks and go, I'm going to survive. Like you survived it because you had different things. There was a great meal plan, lots of fun with it. So um, like I said, I did cheater pasta quite a few times. I would brown up some sausage, put this great little sauce in there. That's a local, uh, I, I know we have it here and I did zucchini noodles on it. And you know, trust me, I missed my spaghetti. I didn't miss it that bad for the, the weeks we did this because it's been fun and you know, Hello, you get results, and, and that's the most important thing. We had great – as a test group, we lost a ton of weight. Somebody posted it, and I can't remember what the exact number is. There was 300 of us, and it was, you know, you have to account for – listen, you got to account for some of the girls in there, okay? They're our friends. We know them for a long time. One of them is Rhonda. From our team knows Rhonda. Ronda Race, right? Okay. Ronda Race lost what was the equivalent of what most of us would lose going to the bathroom in the morning. And she will tell you that because she just has nothing to lose. But she saw awesome physical transformations and other things with this and did lose weight. So, I mean, you can sit there and say, well, Hal, you're a big boy. You're right. I lost a lot of weight because I could. Everybody, you know, Rhonda's one of my dear friends. Rhonda lost weight and got results from a program too, doing it for 21 days. So there's, everybody's going to see a benefit of, from this thing, I think. So, um, you know, I loved it. I think that's the main thing. I think, you know, people have asked, how do we market this? What are we going to do? What are you going to do to prepare for this? Beachbody's launching this, you know, the real big thing is Beachbody's going to launch challenge groups the 24th of the month in July. So what's your game plan going up into it? What do you think you should be doing? Um, after doing the program, I will tell you, before we started this program, I was on a crew. I, I, was, on, uh, I was in Florida after our little Dominican Republic vacation doing video, I mean, you know, making videos, doing fun things with our friends for a few days. Um, our Beachbody family. And I got an email saying, hey, you want to do this? And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I've just been, the one week a year we actually cut loose and have a good time. Now you're going to sit there and want me to get started on this thing? Oh my God. So I had no prep. If I'm looking at prepping it realistically and getting people started with this, I wouldn't freak people out, guys. It's not, the program itself is not hard, but if you're looking to get a good kickstart, I would tell you pick any meal plan that you want have them commit to it so they learn the container system. That's a curve on its own, and we all know it. Like, do you know what a red is? Do you know what a green is? Can you eyeball how big your salad should be at dinner? Let me tell you, the one nice thing for my program, I went down a meal class because I'm like, I can't eat as much as he wants me to eat. That's how bad it is for me. And then we also, you know, us big boys also realize that there's also unlimited greens. It's in the fine print, but we saw that in our meal plans. Ooh, unlimited greens! Like, because, you know, the guys that wanted to eat more, it's like, yeah, that's what you get. Lots, lots of greens. But, again, fun stuff. But teaching your people in challenge groups, like, just what's a red? What's a green? What's a, what's a blue? What size should be a purple? Easy stuff. Easy beginning things. And then if they're wanting to get into a workout or do something – Guys, Sean week to have people start for like one week of just starting to move is awesome. Did a couple workouts with it, really enjoyed it, all that kind of good stuff. So um, kind of my game plan, if I'm pushing it, I would tell people like anything, just find something, you know, find a program you like, you know, just so you can start moving and figure out the meal containers. Like that is the two hardest things to like get started. But you know, Chris is gonna. Chris is gonna come to you. Chris is gonna bring you to church every day, and you will know what church is. And it, for you that don't know, come back to me in about, you know, come back to me two weeks in after this, and ask and tell me, do you know what church is? Because I will say yes. <laughs> so I'll open it up. Um, that's kind of our story. I really want to help answer questions or concerns or anything else. So, you know. Ask away. Um, Hal, before
before I open it up to the team, um, you guys just gather your questions. And once you have them, I think because uh, we have probably about 20 people here and we're recording, which is nice for those of you that have that are here live, you can just unmute your, your lines and try not to talk over each other and just jump in. But be Hal, before we do that, so you were using the container program and do you feel like that was probably the hardest piece for you, the nutrition? Um, I think for me, because Lindsay's done it before and we've done it before, the hardest part is learning and adhering to containers. Um, you, have to, you have to eat snacks and you have to do, you know, realistically, when you do this program, you're eating five meals a day throughout the day. I typically do not eat five meals a day. I eat a breakfast, I eat a lunch, I may have a snack, at, you know, a snack before or after lunch, one of the two, and then I usually had some kind of dinner or something. It was really hard for me to like remember to pack my, I, you gotta, if you, if you plan to fail, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So for me, it was every day having to make sure my lunch pail was full of things for me to eat for, I, you know, basically I ate a breakfast at home, but I had to have two snacks and a lunch at the office. And that was, you know, you're mixing them, you're trying to bring them and your friend, you know, for you that know me, I work 50 hours a week, 60 hours a week. I get up at 4 a.m. and I leave the house and go to work. I come back at about five o'clock at night, you know, to start these things. So... For me, it was, I had to plan the night before, make sure I had everything because it was, it was important to me to adhere to the plan that we did. So I really wanted to like make sure I did those things. That's why I kind of tell everybody, you need to know, like I ate out a lot on the plan. I travel. I can't bring breakfast, lunch, and dinners for four days on an airplane. Some people can. I couldn't do it. But what I learned is I would go to the restaurants and I would order based on what I know is a container. Hello, an egg is a red. Like you knew what two eggs were a red or whatever you were doing, you know what your counts are. So you would order exactly that. You know to ask for no additional butters or anything because you knew that was a yellow and yeah, I didn't want to give up that yet. You know, like that kind of stuff. Or you ordered your salads and you knew, hey, I like salad. I have to have a salad for dinner. You knew how big a green, like the nice thing for me is I could have unlimited greens, but you knew like, Hey, I'm going to have a piece of salmon. I need it blackened. I need it baked. I need it broiled. I need, how do you want it? That's not deep fried and put on top, right? Like how do you like to eat it? So there's, there's different things. Like that was the hard thing to get used to knowing those things and being able to eyeball. Hey, my dressing needs to fit into a container this big for the day. Like, and you had to know those things. So you had to watch what you were doing and everything else. I adhered. I did what I had to do. I loved it. I mean, it made me really more conscientious of like what I'm putting in to fuel my body. So, but yeah, I thought that was, that was one of the critical things to learn. And not everybody, you know, we sell a great product, but not everybody knows that. Not everybody is going to sit there and go, I, I understand what a red is. So I think that's, kind of, that's why I said I would grab any meal plan the week beforehand and really try to adhere to a meal plan. 21, if you like 21 day fix, great. If you want an extreme, fine. If you want to sit there and go, I want to see what, what it's like for, um, you know, kind of when we're getting towards the end. I think it's really similar to countdown to competition from autumn. Wow. So for about a week. So if you're sitting there going, gee, what's this like that I really want to try something hard? That's like week three. That's like probably week three. And it's similar. It's not exact, but something, you know, that you're like, hey, how hard is this going to be? It's kind of on the competition for a week, I think. Similar-ish type stuff. How would you say um, your portions have changed now versus – like, obviously, going to the containers, portions change, right? So have your portions gotten bigger or have they gotten smaller? Just totally being transparent. Um, both. Both, actually. I realized that I did not eat enough 
fruits and vegetables in my, during my day. And I ate, but I did do a good job of eating like my proteins. Like I didn't, my proteins weren't oversized. You know, I wasn't going to need 16 ounce porterhouses three times a week, but you learn to eyeball what a, what a portion of red is. You know, when you're, when you're having a chicken, you know, you learned what, a, you know, Hey, I can, when on my salad, when I have two reds, you know what two reds look like for a chicken salad, like a salad with some chicken on it. So yeah, I mean, some of my, like I realized what meats or what things, you, you know, let's be honest. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm always like this, I guess, uh, realizing like I love avocado. So when you sit there and go to eat an avocado, what container is an avocado? Cause it's not what you think it is. Right. Exactly. Okay. And, an and guess what? It's so big. <laughs> and then, and then eat a small one and eat half of it, Yeah. you know, cause I guess what I like to me, it's a healthy fat. I loved avocado. Lindsay and I would eat it on a lot of stuff because it adds a flavor we liked. Yeah. But you can't do it all the time, right? Like you got to know those kinds of things or you got to give up something else to have that avocado, that half of an avocado. So I noticed those kinds of things, just changing your perspective. It wasn't so much like, gee, I'm overeating or under, you know, it was more of the, I realized I was under eating some of the things I should be eating a lot more of for a guy my size. And some of the things I was eating good, you know, you, you needed to change up too, but it also, you learn, you learn, you can live without, you know, I'm a junk food and a pasta guy, right? Like that's how you get to be 310 pounds. I mean, I'll be honest. So, you know, if you want to tempt me, go buy me a Snickers bar. Like that's hard stuff to give up, right? Like I like my sweets. Um, and like you learned, Hey, I didn't need a Snickers bar and you were always full that you weren't sitting there going, I really need a Snickers bar. <laughs> you know, it's like you learned those things and you, and you adjusted to that. So rather quickly, I'll, I'll add. So I, I, I would encourage, listen, if my opinion, it's not easy, guys. Don't get me wrong. I would never tell you all it's, this is a cakewalk. Just, but I will tell you, if you commit to it, I promise you, really commit to this, there's going to be results for you you're going to learn stuff about yourself. You're going to get, Chris is going to educate you. You're going to get, you're going to get your learn on because it's going to have an effect on you. You're going to learn about your food intakes, what works with your body. You're going to give it a chance. Not everybody, you know, I work with a guy that sits there and goes, he's on a diet that's, you know, he makes um, rice, lentils, and boiled chicken. And he's like, I'm going to lose weight. He might. Cause his body might sit there and go, you're cutting calories and this works and it's great. Go do it. When I was in college, the big thing was the special K diet. Huge, right? Everybody wanted to know about the special K diet. Purdue had done the research for the special K diet. It's called the special K diet because special K paid for the research. What Purdue actually found was, if you replace two meals a day with any cereal, you are going to lose weight. I'm not joking. The reason being is Americans eat too much breakfast and lunch. If you take breakfast and lunch and eat a bowl of cereal, whatever it is, put the, rec you know, the recommended serving and the recommended thing, and you eat that every day, I don't care if it's Cocoa Krispies, you will lose weight. Because you're look at the box. You're only eating like – a serving of cereal is like 200 calories. Right. A, a half cup of, of white skim milk is like 100 calories. You're eating 300 calories. If this is what you do, you will lose weight. Is that what you want to live like the rest of your life? No. It's better to have a healthy balance and understand what you need. But like I said, get your, get, he's going to educate you. Get your education on. Follow that meal plan and try it. It's three weeks. And I'm going to tell you, it changed Lindsay and I, like, I mean, we've been laughing about, you know, with friends in this, you know, like the one guy is posting pictures of him and his wife going, Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks Chris for the, for the free butt lifts. Like, you know, cause that's what everybody's looking like, you know, like, Oh yeah. Because you know, here's the thing we did the group. And when you put 300 of us into a group, we like every, you know, we had people leave the group because we were too positive and everybody was blowing stuff up on Facebook. So whenever one of you guys complain, they're like, oh my God, these groups are so annoying. 
you haven't seen what 300 Beachbody coaches do in one group, okay? Trust me. We loved everything. We comment on everything. We all try to 601 each other. And y'all know what 601ing is. Go watch The Price is Right. What's the highest bid? $600. 601, sir. 601, okay? We all did it. And we're, we're great at it. We love it. But we loved each other. We loved on the process. And we encouraged everybody. And that's what all of your challenge groups should be like. Really. I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, you want, you want to see a successful challenge group? I'm trying, you know, Lindsay and I keep talking about this one. We're going to try it. Go live for like a minute or two in the morning and tell them what, and tell your group what to expect. Hey, hey, today is speed 25. You're going to do great. And breathe that life in them. At the end of the day, make them laugh, tell them they did it, and encourage them. And on Sundays, go live for 15 minutes to a half hour and see, you know, encourage them for the next week. This week, we're doing we're up in it 10 minutes. Y'all got this. And get them to comment. I mean, if they come in and start commenting and liking these things, the fact is, is they're going to see, like this program, you're going to see results. You're going to get educated quick and you're going to see results. Because, you know, if I go through my pictures, you would see a lot of people, you look at and go, that person did not need to be in the test group and they did not have results. No, they had results. And you can see it at the end. Like, they won't have anything. They did. And you can tell, and, and the fact is, is we had everybody in there from emerald coaches, overweight guys, husbands of coaches, to the top coach in the network, to, you know, everybody else, all included. And everybody did it. And actually enjoy. I think everybody actually enjoyed the workouts and the program, loved the trainer. And, you know, we're doing this because – this is so much bigger than Chris. Chris is a great guy, don't get me wrong. But this is like, this is all of us. If we can help two people, every one of us, two people, do you realize what that means for you? That's, that's, that's becoming emerald. That shows you how easy it is. And then you're going to sit there and see results physically. You're going to see results financially. You're going to see results. You're going to see a major shift in your attitude and your mental capabilities what you believe for yourself, what you want for yourself. I mean, you get these four markers, right? So I'm going to challenge all of you guys, all right? We did it. Each of our markers has inspirations, goals, dreams, something. Because every, every day when you start doing these with Chris, you're going to put these out. You're going to be jumping over them. You're going to be pounding on them. You're going to be doing all sorts of stuff with them. But you know what it is? It's you looking at that and conquering that goal. I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing this for my health. I want to get, you know, I, I am good enough. Put those inspirations. Put a Bible verse if you want. Put whatever, you know, whatever's on your heart should be on those things because that's what you're conquering every day or goals that you're going to achieve or things you want, you know. I mean, it can be something. One of the girls put on there, she wanted to be two-star diamond, and that's what her, her thing was. So every day she's hitting this thing wanting to be a two-star diamond. That may not be your goal, but your goal might be, you know, and your goals will change, but like your goal might be, I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing this for my, one of mine was I'm doing this for my kids. So every day you'd see your kids and their names on it. And guess what? It's a, it's something you strive for. It's, it's going to sit there and encourage you and motivate you to do what that is. I love it. So I'll answer a couple questions. Go ahead, Christina. What's next? <laughs> So it sounds like you guys had a consistent meal plan. You, you mentioned eating five or six meals a day. So I'm going to assume, but I want to ask to clarify, you never talked about intermittent fasting because you also talked about the fact that Americans eat too much. We know Americans eat too much. We know that if people would stop eating just a little bit, they would lose weight. So was that ever addressed in the group? Yes. So... What we will talk about with intermittent fasting is Chris is a doer of intermittent fasting. Okay. There's a lot of my friends and coaches and everybody else in the group that do intermittent fasting. Um, it is not part of the program. Okay. If it's something you want to do, you can do it. Okay. Um, I will tell you from our experience, Lindsay 
does intermittent fasting. I do that's as well, and that's why I was asking. And those of you guys on the call, if you want to learn a little bit more about this topic, especially since it's not going to be addressed in the in this um, in this program, I was reading a book here right before we got on the call. Actually, I'm reading a book. It's called The Complete Guide to Fasting, and it's by Jason Fung. He's an MD. You guys can pick that up on Amazon. It's not something I'm willing to teach you because it gets into a lot of medical stuff, but I highly recommend it. Um, and I think Al is frozen. I hope he's not frozen. It looks like he's frozen. Um, it looks like, yeah, as I say, you might be. Oh, but. no. It might be me. I'm at the, you know, my, my signal's bad here, but I know. Woo uh, but yeah, if you guys want to know more about intermittent fasting, I'm a big believer in it. Grab that book and check it out. Um, okay. So, so the one thing that we talked about with fasting and on this program, just if you guys are doing it, I will encourage you to research it for yourself too. But look up, uh, I want to say it's BCAAs. Mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're really interested in doing this, um, because of the different things in it, look it up. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. I, I, I feel like I intermittently fast because I eat early and then I stop early because I don't eat late at night. So I, I mean, I naturally do a little bit. I think a lot of people try to do like 14 hours and all that stuff. There's different methods and madness to this. Do your research. I mean, it's, it's, I don't think it wasn't encouraged. It was addressed because people do it and did it. And Chris, and, and, and like anything, Chris is very open. So he's going to tell you, I did it, but it's not going to be something he's going to sit there and say, you should do it too. Yeah. You kind of do, it do you? And it addresses in that book, it addresses 14 hours or, or, or 24 hours or whatever people want to do. So if you have questions about time and space and the way the galaxies move, check that out. Or you just do some research online. It's out there, it's free. Just be careful you're getting a good source. Um, that's always important when you're talking about your health. Um, so I have one more question then I'm gonna open it up to the, the team because I think they have some more questions for us. The program itself, the workouts themselves, look a little sports trainee, almost like a, a kind of what we've seen from Sean in the past. Is that is that how you felt that they, like the formatting? Yeah, I, I see. I felt they were very reminiscent of my old high school football workouts that we did. Um, I enjoyed them. I modified a lot of them. They are challenging. Absolutely. Um, but I really, you know, it's – as he keeps going through this and as you keep doing it, I mean, like hit workouts aren't for everybody either. I mean, to sit there, you know, I sit there and see Sean is more dancing. I love, I like Sean. He's been, we've met him a bunch, you know, he's a good person, but I can't, I can't do Sean workouts because to me it's almost choreographed a little bit. And he is, and I think it's because the more props to the guy, he was a backup dancer for Mariah Carey, y'all. Like, think about that. I am a white guy with two left feet. Sean is not. So when I'm trying to do a workout, I'm like, you know, I need Chris where you're doing, okay, guys, it's the diamond drill. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Okay. I tripped over myself doing that. But I felt better from my personal experience, like from what I did in my – in my last life and I'm like, Oh man, I remember doing this out, out in it. Like the, you can, you can do those things. Um, I know they look, you know, and, and Stacy, I see, I see your comment. Listen, I thought I was going to struggle hardcore. Look at me. I haven't worked out for 18 years. I did it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, it's hard the first day modify. Chris would tell you guys, and if you watch most of his videos, he's going to tell you, there ain't no shame. Modify. Modify your game. If you can't do it, do something. And the fact is, is, guys, I modified majority of the time. I'm learning to work out. I'm not, I'm not an expert. I haven't done this for five years. Like, I work out. No, I lost my weight because I replaced a meal a day with Shakeology. Like, that's why I lost the majority of my weight. Like, I'm not, there ain't no lie in that. 
I would work out here or there sporadic and do a workout. And then I'd be laying for two days after I did an autumn workout going, my butt, I can't sit down. Where's, go to the bathroom. You guys are crazy. Like, I don't want to sit. <laughs> okay. I will tell, I, I, I'll tell you, I worried about that stuff to start this thing. I will say, and I've had multiple people in the group tell me too. I did not have, I modified, but I didn't have pain like I did doing like an autumn workout sporadically or a Shanti Insanity program. Like I did, like, you know, those, you, you worried about that. You did a lower workout with those guys. You were like, oh, tomorrow is brutal, brutal. Chris isn't as bad. Like I didn't, like I, you know, I would wake up. I'm not going to sit there and say I was refreshed, but I will sit there and say I woke up energized and the pain was always very, very manageable to nothing. So keep doing it, you know, you know, stay with it. Um, you know, think about it this way. He has two workouts a week. So you might struggle that first one because basically what he does is, he does a cardio and then a, a strength, cardio and a strength. So you're gonna alternate, all right? The first time you do the cardio, he will tell you form, form, form. Modify form, form, modify. Do what you gotta do to do the, ex the exercise correctly and to do the exercise. So there is no shame in this, do it. And the fact is, is that's gonna help you, you know, just doing that's gonna give you results. And then the next, you know, the next one you did it because you kind of have that form, you know, on Monday, when you go and do cardio again on Wednesday, it's a little easier. You kind of go, oh man, I remember this. You know, you're not learning, you're not doing an exercise and then doing it again a month later, a la insanity. Like, hey, I only do this every six days or eight days. You're going to do this kind of repetitive. But because you're changing it every week, you're always learning, and it's very, it keeps you very fresh. Like, it's not, oh, man, this is stale. I can't do this. No, it was really like you were doing different things all the time. But by the end of that week, you were feeling much better about, okay, I get what this guy is doing, and now I can perform it better, or I can do the regular or whatnot. So keep that in mind, too, guys. Okay, I love it. Okay, guys, so who else has questions for Hal? questions you guys have about the new ship shop coming out soon we only have what less than two weeks and, and stacy i i'm in the same boat you are girl i hands up man i i will tell you um and if you guys listen we're friends with them y'all know tulin and Karim. Probably a beach body coach is pretty popular guys. Karim is an, is an MS survivor and fighter. And Karim did the workout with us every day. So when you're looking at it, like, did the guy modify? Absolutely. Nobody would, no, no, we're not saying, you know, he was doing the Superman jumps and all that stuff. But it, it can't, you will do it. You might struggle a little bit, but it gets easier, it gets better. And guys, trust me, that's with any workout, right? So. I mean, the first time, the first insanity workout you did, I know we all, we all looked at each other, puked a little bit and said, what was I thinking? You know, the first time Tony Horton jumps up and hits a, and hits a uh, you know, I'm going to do pull-ups. And you start watching him for pull-ups for a minute and a half. And I'm like, can I have this little rubber band and stretch it up? I'm getting the same exercise. I was 20 something and he was 50 something. I'm like, dude's old enough to be my dad and is running loops around me. That ain't cool. <laughs> Love it. You guys have no questions, none at all. Come on, we can think of at least one question for Hal. All right. I see somebody. Wait, somebody's trying to unmute themselves. Here we go. What we How easy is the food plan to modify? Because I just had a baby, so I have to eat a little bit more to be able to nurse her. So if I went on this plan, would it be pretty easy to modify it a little bit? Um, I, so I'm going to do the whole disclaimers here. So I want to say they asked for six weeks postpartum. Right. Before you do the plan, you know, our friends, oh, yeah. really close friends with Stephanie Chico here and she was just out with us and went, 
you know, she was pretty upset that they made that rule. And we're like, dude, come on, you know, it is what it is. But she did it with us. So, you know, yes, the food plan, there will be, f we had four different meal plans to choose from, okay? So obviously for, for, for me, I was supposed to be at number four, which is the biggest boy one. I went down to three. I'm sure if you're supposed to be a girl and eating at one or two and you need to jump up to three or four, you absolutely can for, for needs and stuff like that. But again, I check with your doctors to make sure, you know, obviously it's calories and all that other stuff, make sure. But the food, the foods themselves are really awesome. Nothing like I wouldn't worry about harming any, like there's no harmful things or any like that kind of stuff. So. Okay. Can't see why you can't do that. All right. Thanks. Great. No problem. Great question. And congratulations again on that beautiful baby. <laughs> Absolutely. And congratulations, Tal, on your um, transformation. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Any other questions, guys? No? You guys are quiet tonight. Must be um, calls back to no. back. You guys just so, yeah. a lot of stuff. Um, I see a whole bunch of other people. I, I know there was one. You know, and John and I tried to answer it. The only other question I know kind of came up, and I will sit there and say I know there is options. Um, and, and Amy's not on to, to defend herself, so I can pick on her. Um, there was options for green-based health. So they did do something with that. I, am, I did not participate in that. I did not partake in that side of it. So I can't tell you, I didn't do the research in it to say, here's my protein substitutes or what, you know, all that kind of jazz. But they did make a option for, that we saw for vegetarian. I don't, and I don't know about vegan, but there's a, like, I, I'll just keep it as, it's a green based option. So, you know, they're not going to sit there and tell you, you got to, you know, you got to eat a whole bunch of animals to, to do it. So. For those of you that, that care about that, that's, a, that's an awesome option, so. All right, well, perfect. Um, I, again, congratulations, Paul, on your transformation. It's crazy to watch the pictures. I feel like you're the incredible shrinking man. I hope that what you learned during the program, you'll be able to continue and, and utilize it moving forward and, and continue to keep working out. Um, and again, guys, anybody needs anything, feel free to message away. If, if you guys, something comes up or you're thinking about it, uh, you know, we're, we're here to help and to see this, you know, we're really excited about this launch. We're really excited about the product. We hope all you guys are. I mean, we're hoping that kind of comes through in this. Like, we feel this is an awesome thing. We feel like you guys are going to see crazy things from it and crazy benefits from that. And I'll plug one more thing because so Christina kind of knows. Uh, last week, Carl was in Phoenix with us to do a town hall meeting and is hinting at some real cool stuff. So if you're getting to Summit, awesome. See you all there. If you're not, be watching because there are going to be he, he's, he's hinting at some pretty big things. So we're hoping for some, and, and everybody I think is hoping for some really big news and big events. So Awesome. I am super excited about Summit. We only have a couple of weeks for that too, guys. So this is going to happen. You guys know they always drop these things on us when we're at a huge event. So we will actually be at Summit um, during the launch. And so it's a good time that you know, I'm glad that Beachbody is doing the Beachbody wide uh, challenge group on the 24th. Everybody will be in. We'll have a chance to promote. We'll get a chance to get with our people. And we won't be trying to do that at Summit. We want to be focused on being present while we're at Summit as much as possible. Um, I'm totally looking forward to what Carl has to say. And uh, again, Hal, thank you so much for just being here with us tonight and the contribution that you've made to the team. I appreciate you and Lindsay and everything you guys do. And um, in your heart, you know, I love that you have just a heart of giving and you always have, and I'm just so grateful for that. So, and again, congratulations on your transformation. And I, I'm going to have to coin you the incredible shrinking man, right? So that's, um, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Well, thank you guys so much. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate the time and excited for you guys share some of your, you know, when you guys buy your, your, your discs and you guys figure out what you're writing on them. 
share them with us. Let's see what you guys got. Cause I think that's going to be a real key to, you know, some of your successes. Cause I want to see you guys post what, what this is going to mean for you, what this is going to mean for your family, what this can mean for your business, what this can mean for everything. So congratulations it. for being a part of this. Looking forward to making the shift and, you know, we're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to do this again. So we're starting over from square one in a few weeks. So excited and uh, blessed to be a part of it. Awesome. Awesome. All Thanks, right. Guys. everybody, You guys have a great night. Thank you again, Hal, and have a wonderful night, friend. Anytime, guys. Thank you so much, Christina. Thank you.